In this video, we're diving into a question that I've heard from so many small business owners, creators, and just about anyone trying to make money online. Mailer Lite or ConvertKit? which is now Kit. And which one should you actually use? What's going on, everyone? My name is Eric Hunsaker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you pick the right tools, make smarter business moves, and actually enjoy running your business instead of feeling like you're drowning in software subscriptions. Let's get into it. Why this comparison matters. All right, let's zoom out for a second. Five or 10 years ago, most email tools were basically the same. You wrote a message, hit send, and it went out to your entire list, done. But the way we use email now is way more strategic. Think about it. You probably don't send the exact same message to someone who just joined your list yesterday and someone who's been buying from you for years. That's where things like segmentation, automation, and integration with your other tools comes in. And here's where it gets tricky. If your email tool doesn't make that stuff easy, one of two things happen. You avoid doing it all together because it's a pain. You try to force it. It eats up all your time and you end up frustrated. Now, both MailerLite and Kit promise to solve that problem, but they go about it in very different ways. MailerLite, the straightforward, budget-friendly option. Let's start talking about MailerLite. If MailerLite was a person, it would be that friend who's super down to earth, doesn't overcomplicate things, and is always ready to lend you something without asking for much in return. What I love about MailerLite is that you can sign up, poke around for a few minutes, and pretty much figure it out on your own. The interface is clean, the buttons make sense, and you don't need to watch a 30-minute tutorial before you can send your first email. Here's the part that trips people out. They have a really generous free plan. So as of right now, you can have up to 1,000 subscribers and send 12,000 emails a month for free. That's more than enough for most beginners. And even some established businesses can get away with that for a while. And just because it's beginner friendly doesn't mean it's bare bones. You get features like automations that let you welcome new subscribers or follow up after a purchase. Built-in landing page and website creation, which is a lifesaver if you don't want to deal with another website builder just to make a simple lead capture page. A drag and drop email editor with templates that actually look modern, not like they were made in 2007. If MailerLite is the friendly simple option, Kit is like the slightly more expensive tool that you buy because it can do everything once you learn how to use it. Kit's main fan base is creators. Think YouTubers, bloggers, coaches, authors, people who are selling directly to their audience and need a way to turn subscribers into customers without juggling five different apps. One of ConvertKit's standout features is its visual automation builder. Instead of trying to picture in your head how a 10-step email sequence flows, you can literally see it mapped out on the screen. Who goes where, when, and why? Another big difference? Kit uses tags instead of just lists. That means instead of saying, hey, here's my list of subscribers, you can say, this person's interested in my photography course, click the link about camera gear, and bought my ebook last month. That level of detail is huge if you wanna send targeted emails that feel personal. And here's something that Kit has that MailerLite doesn't. Built-in selling tools. You can set up product pages, take payments, and deliver digital products or subscriptions without touching Shopify or WooCommerce. Now, for a lot of creators, that's a game changer because it keeps everything under one roof. Ease of use, simplicity versus control. This is one of the most noticeable differences between these two tools. MailerLite is super simple. You can log in, click create campaign, and be sending out an email in minutes. You don't need to memorize any fancy terminology, and there's very little setup fatigue. Kit isn't hard once you get the hang of it, but it does take a little more upfront learning. If you're brand new to email marketing, that learning curve can be a little intimidating. But once you do learn it, Kit can be incredibly efficient, especially if you're managing multiple offers or complex subscriber journeys. Let's get into the meat of what really separates these two. Automation and segmentation. MailerLite's automation is great for straightforward stuff. You can say when someone signs up for my freebie, send them these three emails over the next week. You can also branch things out a bit like sending different emails based on whether they click the link. But ConvertKit's automation is on another level. It's built for those choose your adventure type subscriber journeys. You can have someone move from one sequence to another based on tags, purchases, or even custom fields. Templates and design, beauty versus minimalism. If you want your emails to look like a beautifully designed newsletter, MailerLite 
It's probably your best friend. Their drag and drop editor is super intuitive. The templates look fresh and you can add things like buttons, images, and social links without breaking anything. Kit is a little bit more about minimalism. A lot of creators using Kit send plain text style emails that look like they came from a friend, not a brand. And that works for their audience. It feels more personal. But if you want more design flexibility, Mailer Delight is gonna make you happier. Integrations, who plays better with others? Now, both of these platforms integrate with the big players. We're talking about things like Shopify, WordPress, Stripe, and Zapier. Mailer Delight covers all the basics. You'll have no problem connecting it to your online store or website. Kit goes a little deeper with creator-focused integrations. Connects really well with online course platforms like Teachable and Padaya, membership plugins, and even podcast hosting services. All right, now let's talk money because pricing is where people's eyebrows either go up or down. Mailer Lite is the clear winner for affordability. Like I said, their free plan is generous and even their paid plans are very affordable as well. The jump in price as your list grows is still pretty reasonable. So taking a look at their different plans here. So for Mailer Lite, when you start at 500 subscribers and you pay monthly, the growing business plan starts at $10 per month. Again, they have that great free plan, which we talked about, and you can also save 10% by paying annually. So with the growing business plan, you get unlimited monthly emails, you get three user seats, 24 seven email support. You get everything from the free plan, plus you can sell digital products. You get unlimited templates. You get dynamic emails, campaign auto resend, multivariate testing, unlimited website and blogs, unlimited landing pages, and an unsubscribe page builder. Now for the advanced plan starting at $20 monthly or $18 annually, you get everything from the growing business plan, but unlimited user seats and your support options go up to live chat in addition to the email support. So you get everything in the growing business plan plus smart sending, a Facebook integration, custom HTML editor, promotion pop-ups, enhanced automations, preference center, AI writing assistant and other partner discounts. Now we take a look at kit. We can see their prices are quite a bit higher. Now, if we take the subscriber back down to zero, we can go ahead and see that they actually have a newsletter plan, which is their free plan. And this is free up to 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. You get one basic visual automation, one email sequence, and it's good for one user. You can create unlimited landing pages, unlimited opt-in forms, unlimited email broadcasts, audience tagging and segmentation. You can sell digital products, run paid newsletters and subscriptions, newsletter feed and website, API access, free recommendations, and email support. Now those free recommendations are required. So this is a way to cross promote with other creators to grow your list through organic recommendations. It's one recommendation slot will always be required on your emails, but that's the price you pay for a free newsletter. Jumping up to their creator plan, this starts at $29 per month paid monthly, or you can get two months free, and that goes down to $25 per month if you pay annually. So this price is good for up to 1,000 subscribers. You get unlimited visual automations, unlimited email sequences, and it's good for two users. You also get all the key features here in the newsletter plan, plus free recommendations, paid recommendations. It removes the kit branding. You get smart recommendations, other apps, RSS campaigns, polls, and 24 seven email and chat support. Now the Creator Pro plan is also good for this price at $59 per month, up to 1,000 subscribers. And you get everything in the Creator plan, plus advanced A-B testing, Facebook custom audiences, newsletter referral system, edit links and sent broadcasts, you get subscriber engagement scoring, deliverability reporting, insights dashboard, and again, that 24 seven priority email and chat support. So which one should you pick? Here's my honest take. If you're brand new, you want something easy to use and you don't wanna spend more than you have to, start with Mailer to Light. If you're already making sales, you have multiple offers and you want advanced automation to nurture leads and increase conversions, go with Kit. And don't be afraid to switch later. I've seen plenty of businesses start with Mailer Light, grow their audience list and graduate to something else like Kit once they're ready for more advanced features. Now, if you wanna get started with Kit, 
or Mailer Lite, we've got links for you down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on the channel, we make videos dedicated to helping new and existing entrepreneurs get started and succeed in business, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.